see objects, light reflects off the object and enters your eye. So let's look in more detail at the structure of the eye. First of all, you've got the cornea, which is transparent, so it transmits light. And it's the front layer that bends light into the eye. The iris contains muscles that control the size of the pupil. And the iris is the coloured part of your eye. And the pupil is simply the hole in the middle of the eye through which the light enters. You will notice that when you are in a dim environment, your iris will control the pupil size so that it's large and dilated to as allow much light in as possible. However, if you're in a bright environment, the iris will control the pupil size so that your pupils are small to prevent too much light entering and damaging the eye. The light then hits the lens and the lens focuses the light on the retina, which is this part at the back of the eye. Ciliary muscles, along with suspensory ligaments, help control the shape of the lens. Okay, so sometimes this lens might be fatter to bend the light more, sometimes it might be thinner. And that is all controlled by the ciliary muscles and the suspensory ligaments. And that will then help the lens focus the light correctly onto the retina. And of course, if this doesn't happen properly, perhaps you would need to wear glasses to help that process. The retina at the back of the eye contains light receptor cells, and this is where the image is formed. And the optic nerve carries the impulses from the retina to the brain. And around the whole eye to protect the eye is the sclera. This is a really tough outer layer of the eye for protection. The lens in the eye is a convex lens and that is this shape where it bends out either side. So like here, this is very similar to the lens in the eye. But like we said, that can change thickness. It could go round or thin, depending on how it's controlled by those ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments. But the light enters the lens and is refracted, so it's bent slightly as it enters the lens, and the extent to which it's bent will all depend on that shape of the lens. And these refracted rays are then focused onto your retina, so this point here would be your retina in your eye. So you've had the light going in, refracted by the lens, and then focused onto your retina. The image formed is upside down, but luckily your brain sorts this bit out for you. So when the information is sent along the optic nerve to your brain, it will flip that image upside down. A simple pinhole camera works in a similar way to the eye. The image formed is called a real image because it can be projected on a screen. So here we've got our camera with a, a small pinhole at one end and our screen at the other end. You can see that image is projected onto the screen. This is different from the image formed in the mirror, which in a previous video we discussed as being a virtual image. So pinhole cameras make a real image and mirrors would make a virtual image. Because in a real image, it's the actual light rays that are hitting the screen at the back. And also you'd notice that just like the eye, the image formed is upside down. So luckily our eye sends the information to the brain and that sorts that bit out for us. But wait, if you were to make a simple pinhole camera, your image would be upside down. So there's lots of similarities to the eye. This pinhole here is very much like the pupil of the eye because it's just a small hole that lets the light through and the image that's formed is upside down but our eye is much more complex and having this convex lens just behind the pupil in our eye means that we can see objects that are far away and close up because this lens helps to focus the light onto our retina. Hi guys if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. 
It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.